All right, second grade, for shared reading, you're going to need your um, packet called Plants and Animals and Their Habitats. And we're going to learn how to annotate for key details. So on the first page, we're going to practice the first kill. We're going to underline all the key details in the story. So once you find your booklet, you're going to need something to write with and maybe a stuffed animal to share your ideas with. So I want you to turn to page 30. It's called Lost in the Desert. So we're going to take a sneak peek at the pictures. Looks like it's about a family. They're in the desert. And because it's called Lost in the Desert, I'm thinking someone's going to get lost. Looks like they have a cat or maybe it lives in the desert. And then looks like the cat is exploring now all by itself. Uh-oh, looks like there's a problem in the story. And that's the end of the story. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to read it together. I already started. We're going to underline key information. So Lost in the Desert by Thea Feldman. What kind of story do you think this is? Yep, I think you're right. It's a realistic fiction at the very top, it tells you. All right, Lost in the Desert by Thea Feldman. Carl looked out the window. She saw a lot of brown earth. She saw many cactuses and some grass. She saw the blue sky and the empty road. She did not see much else. Where are we again? She asked her parents. Her mom showed Cara the map. We're in the Sonoran Desert in Arizona, on our way to see the Oregon pipe cactuses in bloom. So I'm going to pause at the end of the page. I'm going to underline important details. I know it's about Cara, and I know it's about her parents or characters in the story. And where are they? Right, they're in the Sonoran Desert in Arizona. And what are they doing there? Right, they're going to see cactuses in bloom. So I wrote my summary. I said, Cara and her family are visiting the Sonoran Desert. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Oh, yes, said Cara, as the car slowed to a stop. The Sonoran Desert, or in Fred's case, the Snoring Desert. Cara looked over at the family cat, napping on the seat next to her. Looks like he'll sleep through the entire vacation, said Cara. So there's a new character, Fred the cat. Cara and her parents got out of the air-conditioned car. They saw many tall cactuses with big flowers. I'm glad we came early before it gets even hotter, said Cara's mother. It's sure to be another hundred degree day. She opened the car door to grab her camera. And I doubt it will rain. Like all deserts, the Sonoran Desert gets less than 10 inches of rain a year. So I'm going to pause. And then we learned about Fred the cat. And he was sleeping. They got out of the car, right, to see the cactus flowers. And the mom was saying that it's super hot, 100 degrees outside. And deserts don't get a lot of rain. We already knew that. So I wrote my summary. I said, Fred the cat sleeps. Car and her parents leave the car to see the cactuses. And the desert is really hot. Alright, let's keep going. At the same time, in the cool car, Fred woke up. He felt the warm air outside and liked the way it felt. Right before Kara's mom closed the door again, he slipped outside. Kara's mother did not notice. Neither did Kara, nor her dad. Kara's mother took pictures, photos of the pipe organ cactuses. Kara and her father strolled around. On the other side of the car, Fred stretched. The hot sun felt good. Suddenly, a kangaroo rat dashed right in front of Fred and ran into the bush. Fred did not know what kind of rat it was, but he was sure it was the kind that needed to be chased. So he chased it. Just when Fred thought he might catch the rat, it disappeared into a hole in the ground. Fred peered into the hole and the rat was gone. Uh-oh, so it looks like the one getting lost is Fred. So I underlined that Fred woke up. He slipped and nobody noticed. He chased the kangaroo rat, and the rat was gone. So those are the important details I discovered. And I wrote, Fred slips out into the desert. He chases a kangaroo rat into a hole. All right, let's keep reading. Fred looked around. He did not see the car. He did not see Kara or her parents. He saw a lot of brown earth. He saw many cactuses and very little grass. He saw the blue sky. He did not see much else. 
Fred felt the heat on his back and on his paws, too. The ground was very hot. The heat no longer felt good. Fred heard three doors slam. He ran towards the sound. Fred got to the road and saw the car leaving without him. His family must have thought he was still inside. Uh-oh. So I wrote that the, it was, the ground was super hot and the car drove off, right? The door slammed and they thought he was still inside. So I wrote, Fred begins to feel hot. His family drives off without him. All right, this is the last page that we're doing together and then you'll do the rest. Fred meowed and ran after the car, but it was going too fast. Fred had to stop. He was thirsty now. He did not see a single drop of water. How did the plants get water? How did the animals drink? Fred did not know the desert plants trap and store rainwater to drink during dry seasons. He did not know that the desert animals get water from the food they eat. He just knew he was thirsty. The desert was quiet. Where are the animals? Fred wondered. He did not know that most desert animals rest underground or in the shade during the day. He just knew he needed to get out of the sun. He saw some rocky hills and walked towards them, hoping he would find shade there. It looks like he has thought bubbles too. <laughs> so I wrote that he ran after the car. He was really thirsty. He was wondering about the plants and the water and animals. He was thirsty again. He noticed that the desert was really quiet and he was wondering where the animals were. So I wrote, Fred gets really thirsty. He wonders where the plants and animals get water. Alright, so your job is to do the same for the last three pages. One, two, and the end of the story. You can read it, underline the important details in the story, and write one or two sentences about what happens in that page, and upload it to Skies Learn. And don't forget, you can always share your ideas with your stuffed animal, okay? Alright, thank you.